the way, do you have any words of wisdom? Democrats, we need to stand up to the Republicans on a more equitable tax code. Tax the wealthy tax dodgers. Nowadays, the American taxpayer is paying for corporate welfare as they all make record profits. That's crazy. Maybe it's uncool to be so greedy. Yeah, it's uncool to be so greedy. You see, Jack, it's interesting, right? Uh, uh, our economic system, they say, is based on greed. Remember that great <clears throat> movie called Wall Street, where uh, uh, the big capitalist stock trader, stock broker, whatever he was, uh, Gordon Gecko said, uh, uh, to some, he said greed. He said greed is what makes everything uh, go around. I forgot the exact phrase that he used, but greed, a, for lack of a better word, is good. Exactly. Exactly. Greed is good. And the fact of the matter is, greed is not good. But you know what's even better, Jack? Most Americans don't display uh, that unending necessity to be greedy. Uh, their greed generally ends to where they feel they have enough. In other words, you know, greed is that necessary thing to make sure you can get your family fed, to make sure you can get the things that you really need to survive, survive. But the, there's this, there's this inordinate greed that we have in the select few that it's never, ever, ever enough. <clears throat> and the truth of the matter is, if most Americans were greedy, what you would see, Jack, is you would not see those uh, those people at the bus stops every day trying to get to work at the train stops, trying to get their work, trying to get to work, uh, given all the charitable organizations that we have, given not for a tax break, but just for the sake of giving. There are many folks who keep KPFT on air. And they're not doing it for the tax break. There are so many who are not even in in the in the part of the tax code that affects that affects their uh, itemization of their donations, and they still give. Most Americans are good people. Most Americans are not greedy people. Most Americans just want to survive. And for those who like or, or sit back and think that most people are just looking for a handout. Yeah, there's a lot of folks looking for a handout and the, the biggest culprits are not the poor people getting food stamps or not the, or it's, I think it's, it's not called food stamps anymore. I don't think it's called uh, whatever new name, but I mean, uh, for people, those are the people, many people think these are the greedy ones. Are there some people that abuse some of the giveaways? Uh, I shouldn't even say giveaways for the, what, what many of us called entitlements are those the greedy ones? No, 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 no. If you take a look at our budget, if you take a look at the subsidies we give, the amount of billions of dollars and that go straight into uh, corporate coffers that are not used to improve their sales, improve working, uh, the working conditions, in, 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 they're not used for that. They're used just to enrich the few uh, from COVID, from the COVID stimuli that many got with the PPP that never got paid back to the little to, to, to those who just get the subsidies to pull oil out of the ground, something that they didn't put there, but they profit by as they overcharge us for um, for the people who look at what happened recently with Chiquita Banana, uh, who in order to maintain profits condone murder. I mean, the people going wrong is not the average American citizen. The callers to this program, whether left or right, all have goodness in their hearts. I mean, sometimes it's not reflected that way. Sometimes the goodness is manifested as fear and wanton maintenance. But folks, let's not allow them. And when I say them, I mean the minute few, that few group of the wealthy that has decided they dis they they want a a policy that further enrich them over the democracy of the country. Don't let them be the ones who make these changes. So thank. You. 
we spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.